A countywide curfew is in effect throughout Jack County after a tornado ripped through Jacksboro, doing extensive damage. You see right here. Yeah, homes are also destroyed around Bowie from that same tornadic storm this afternoon. Hello, thanks so much for joining us. I'm Daryl Franklin. And I'm Lauren Linville. At Lake Jacksboro, the Red Cross in Wichita Falls has set up a temporary evacuation location for Jack County victims at the Twin Lakes Community Center, which could become a more permanent shelter if necessary. With heavy damage to the elementary school, all also, the high school residents have a long way to go to rebuild. Markeisha Jackson saw the damage for herself, and I'm sure that they could use all the help they could get right now, Markeisha. Daryl, they sure can. From homes without roofs, cars turned completely over, and two local schools torn apart, the Jacksboro community was among the hardest hit. Just right now, it's just it's just hard to absorb. I've lived in, in this community for 30 years, and, and I've never seen any anything like this. Back in 1979, when they had the tornado in Wichita Falls, I was working for Mental Wells PD, and we came up to help it. That's the closest I've seen to this one. That's what Jacksboro officials are saying about the tornado that hit the town Monday afternoon, leaving behind a path of destruction. Jacksboro ISD Superintendent Brad Burnett says he was notified by Jack County Emergency Management that a storm was closing in on the area, leaving Burnett to act quickly as it was nearing dismissal time for the local elementary and high school. We were able to get all of our students inside with staff and then we did have quite a few parents that were in a, a, the, the pickup line for dismissal. We got them out of their vehicles and into the storm shelter and got the door secured before it hit. Swift actions by district officials to hold students from being dismissed is something Jack County Sheriff Thomas Spurlock says made all the difference in saving lives because things could have been much worse. Oh, it's, it, it's a good one. Uh, the elementary school is right down the way and it had a lot of damage too and we've got a gas line it's got a little leak there that we're getting people to shut it off. The roofs of the gyms at the elementary and high school were taken off and walls collapsed in the high school gym. The football field, ag facility and elementary cafeteria also sustained damage and it doesn't stop there. Residents are also left to pick up the pieces as dozens of homes were impacted too. I could tell he was upset and he was talking about his home and I realized I was standing right in front of his house and it was lots of roof damage and stuff. He said it's it's a goner. At last check, there were no deaths or serious injuries reported, something officials say is most important. We can replace buildings, but we can't replace lives. It was a team effort. We had a lot of help, and I'm very thankful for all the first responders in the county that helped us out. Help that will be needed in the coming days to help the people of Jacksboro get back on their feet. Burnett says school is canceled for the rest of the week. For information on places to shelter, if you're in need, go to this story on our website. Just such a blessing that no one was severely injured or killed in that. And thank goodness those shelters were in place in those new schools. No kidding. Okay, Markeisha, thank you so much.